Hi, I'm Nigel Griffiths. I work in the Advanced Technology Centre in the UK, part of IBM Europe. In this technical hands-on movie we're going to look at how to back up, restore and clone workload partitions. Let's log into our workload partition 23. Just make sure that we know where we are. I like to create a, a little file in slash home Let's put uh, date output into test. We'll just use that to make sure that we got back to our original image. Okay. We'll log out of that now and we're in our global copy of AOX, LSWPAR. We can see we have workload partition 23 running there and it's active. The other two are defined so we can ignore those. Now let's use the save wpar command, we use minus capital N to back up our NFS files, otherwise they're not backed up. I guess the assumption would be that uh, you could back those up actually on the NFS server. We're actually backing those up here on our global copy of AX. Minus I was going to create as an image data file that we could use on the way back in to change things. And minus F to the file, and we've got a file system called backup and we'll name the file something sensible and then we have to tell it which workload partition we actually want to back up so there we go and it's finished now that was quick wasn't it if we um, change to backup we can find the file in here and we'll find that this is just over 40 megabytes in size. That's a very small file, isn't it? Amazing, a, a whole copy of AIX, well, a miniature copy of AIX, a workload partition, is actually there in 40 megabytes. We have to remember, of course, that this doesn't include slash user and slash opt, which is the vast bulk of AIX. We don't need to back that up with this workload partition. That keeps the size uh, nice and small. And at 40 megabytes, we can uh, back this up very regularly and simply uh, transport that perhaps over a network to a tape backup or something like that. Now, the next thing I want to do is uh, stop this workload partition. And I'll do it uh, with these options to make it as quick as possible. And uh, probably best if I type the command in right. This is defined state. Now I'm going to go to the NFS server here, and you can see these are all the mount points for all my workload partitions from. Uh, WP1 to WP32 and in, in, in over here we have uh, 23 home root temp and var I've already typed in here the command that uh, if I get this right will actually delete all the files in that workload partition there shouldn't be anything left by the time this finishes Okay, nothing in these uh, directories now. It's important not to delete the directories because they're NFS mount points and that upsets uh, NFS. If we go back to here and we try and start our workload partition on a set of uh, empty file systems, of course it's not going to like that terribly. There we go. Um, can't any, find any files to, to mount so it's going to uh, stop. So let's uh, recover from that. Now the definition of the workload partition is actually in the backup so first thing we have to do is actually delete the workload partition completely. Okay so we no longer know anything about that we're just relying on a, a backup and we can for example have a look at what's in our backup with the ls Save W part and minus F that's in this directory WP23. My fault, I need a 
minus F in there and we can see all the files in the actual backup and so we could extract one individual file if we deleted it by accident but in our case we haven't got anything left at all we've had a disaster so now we want to do a restore wpar minus f backup p23 dot bk so that's creating the file systems and pulling in uh, all the data. This will take. Okay, we got it back and we can start WPAR WP23. And we can log into it, which I refused. They've been a bit too quick there. Five, four, three, two, one. Log in. Flash home. And we've even got that last file that we created. If we log out of there and come back to the global copy of AX, if we go to slash temp, there's a directory called WPAR data. And then there's a directory for each of the backups we've done. We've only just done one here, so we'll go to that particular directory and we'll see there's a set of files in here. Uh, these can be useful for changing the way it actually restores our backup. Um, for example, if we go to the WPAR spec file, we'll find this is the specification file for the workload partition we backed up um, with the details there. This was actually used to regenerate the workload partition as we did the restore. You see the mount points in here at the bottom there's some security information. There's some other things in here like the image data file that tells you how to rebuild the file systems for example and we can change those as we come back. Uh, the backup dot data command gives a full specification of the global copy of AIX that it was running under in case we have problems when we want to restart it because we're under a different version of AIX so we can find out the details. Now let's think about cloning. We've already backed up a workload partition and restored it back into place but a clone is really a backup of a workload partition and then restoring it but into a different workload partition. Let's have a little look at that. If we change to here, I've got a little uh, command to move a copy, the backup of 23, but install it back into workload partition 24. So we have a little command here. So we've got restore, but we've got an extra bunch of commands in here. So we're going to say restore this file, WP23 backup file, um, but we want to change the host name to be this we want the uh, the node name to be uh, this we want the mount point directory to be uh, different and we want the network settings to be different so it's got a different IP address here and it's got different mount points in NFS over here so in this case we're doing a restore but we're changing a whole bunch of parameters now one thing to do note is that we have a minus M option here and there's a double quote uh, here and there's uh, another one here. So all of this in here uh, is actually a comment that has other uh, minus n options inside it. It took me a couple of times to get that uh, absolutely correct. But if we run that command, we'll see it looks much the same as the restore that we did for 23, but now it's going into a workload partition called 24. OK, there we go. And we can start it up. Okay, you see, log in to get to it. We can see it's a, a direct backup of our original workload partition 23. Well, there we have it. 
backup, restore and cloning of our workload partitions. Now of course this is a, a small default install. If you have data in your workload partition then of course your backup and recovery will take a bit longer. Of course if you have your applications actually installed in your global copy of AIX then of course you again will benefit from the small and compact nature of the backups of workload partitions.